Hey guys, it's Dave back again, uh, just doing an unboxing of my Moscone uh, 300.2. This guy's a pretty big amp. Class AB. Definitely a big amp. So once again, good old Moscone instruction manual. Italy, English, uh, I think German as well. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, it's definitely got some weight to it. I was already taking a look at it before, but we're going to be going in there tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, that video can. Where are we at? Right here. So, there's the AS uh, 300.2. Uh, this bad boy is going to be running my uh, subwoofers. I got two Helix uh, Q10Ws. That's the higher end Helix subwoofers. Uh, this gives you about 1800 watts. Uh, it actually gives you a little bit more than that if you t uh, on the test bench, but uh, uh, 1800 watts, right? So, 900 watts uh, per subwoofer. Uh, I know the Helix is a rated 750 watts RMS uh, per sub. That's RMS. That's not peak. Peak is 1500, but nobody cares about peak. Or peak. It's all about uh, RMS. So I'm not going to be running these things full tilt. I was actually thinking of just running one sub at, at one point in time. A uh, different sub, not the Helix. Uh, but I've always been a big fan of two tens and tens in general. So that's the AS 300.2. Um, I was going to go, I was actually looking at the Zapco amplifiers as well. They're really nice, like the AP. They're really nice, but the thing is, I already had. I already had this guy, right? I already had an AS200.2, so I was like, you know what, I, I kind of like things to match, so I didn't really want to go with like a Moscone for running my GB60s and then go with two Zapcos, even though Zapcos are uh, amazing amplifiers. Uh, honestly, if I had my pick, uh, I actually like Moscone Pros, but once again, I already had the AS 200.2 and I wanted things to match up and honestly I don't think there's going to be much of a difference. Uh, the sub amp however like this amp is class AB so it's going to take its toll on the electrical system a little bit more uh, but I'm going to dial it back. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be cranking 1800 watts into that thing right. Um, and I might get a, a upgrade my alternator uh, next year next spring when I add uh, custom A pillars with the mids. Um, I looked around for months and months and months, basically, uh, trying to find the best speakers and whatever for my budget. Um, the main thing I wanted was a good processor. So I got the Helix DSP Ultra. You can't really get a better DSP than that. I mean, Brax obviously is a, a little step up from that, uh, but it's all the same technology that's in there. Um, I wanted something just in case I added something else down the road or I swapped out something. Um, that I could still use the DSP Ultra. Um, originally, I was actually going to go with one of Helix's DSP amps, uh, originally, um, but I was just a little worried that with the GB60s, 75 watts, because it's 70, the, the, the amp DSP I was looking at um, was 75 watts times uh, 10, basically, um, or sorry, times 8, and then you could add a subwoofer and DSP that too as well uh, but 75 watts I'm sure it is enough I heard it in a couple of cars uh, or I heard it in one of the cars at Mobile Solutions it sounded really good um, I highly recommend if you're not going to go with a separate DSP check out the Helix uh, DSP amps uh, they're awesome I heard one in the tel uh, Tesla down there at Mobile Solutions in Calgary uh, and it was awesome um, yeah, so that's it's my deter determining factor of getting these is I already had one, right? So uh, I love the looks of them, 
and honestly anywhere between uh, uh, the four channel amp the AS 100.4 gives me plenty of power 100 watts in the tweeters 100 watts into the rears the AS 200.2 gives me 200 watts to the GB60s and uh, this gives me 1800 watts to the subs so I'm good until next year when I add the mids and A pillars um, and then do the custom install at that point in time. Right now we're just putting everything together. It's like stage one getting in there so we got music. So anyways, thanks guys for tuning in and uh, have a great day.